What's up, guys? Welcome to Round Robin Radio episode 10. And it's a very special show for us because we are celebrating episode 10 by recording live at the living room in Josie. And we also have a very special guest, Mr. Bones. Welcome. Cool. Thanks a lot for having me. Really appreciate your opportunity and very excited to be here, man. For sure, dude. I am so excited. We are going to be chatting to Bones a bit later about his album. His second album is releasing on Round Robin Recordings. It's on pre-order now and it fully releases on the 17th of March. Uh, we've also got him here at our showcase at the living room and then after this we're going to be heading off to truth which is also going to be amazing i mean it's just going to be a great way to finish off sort of the album launch tour but yeah let's get into the music and then we're going to check back with bones a little bit later We'll 
with Mr. Bones and it's time to sort of delve in and meet the man behind the music. So I think just to start things off, like tell us a little bit about yourself, how you got into music and just sort of how a brief summary of the journey up until here. Okay, of course, uh, like uh, the way I got into t is uh, my parents were actually into the t scene and um, I've been introduced into the music lane at home, listening to T-Park all the time and uh, my father actually took me to my first club experience at the Lux. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, uh, when I was, I think I was 14 years old at the time and you know, just experiencing the house music and the way that people connect with uh, the emotion that comes with the music behind it. Mm -hmm. um, it was a really good experience for me and I think from that moment I had a bit of a emotional attachment to the music where I felt that I need to be involved more with the scene and uh, and you know hold on it from there where I can you know take my craft to a new level in terms of music and you know contributing towards the scene itself. So literally almost born into it in a way. <laughs> oh that's very very cool and so then you started playing I mean you, you started producing I remember you started sending us music quite a while back yeah. And then we arrived with Mo House. Uh, Tell them about the name, first of all, Mo yeah, House. Uh, so Mo House was basically, I uh, met a guy at work, basically, and uh, we were talking about music, and the topic came up about producing music and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, I would like, at the time we were talking about it, it was pre-COVID, before I started writing the album, the first album. Um, and the guy we were talking about production, you know, the scene behind it, and he was just telling me to make more house music. More house music. More house music. And you know, that it stuck with me in the sense where when I got back to the studio, you know, that more house was just at the back of my mind the whole time. And I, you know, I thought, look, because it was it's like a personal experience with them, and I thought, you know, let's attach the name to something where I can, you know, yeah. let other people experience it as well. Okay, that's awesome. And then with the release of your first album last year with my house, um, how would you say the reception was to the music? Um, how was it received by the people? Um, what was your journey like now, you know, sort of touring that album and then just having all of that content and the gigs after that? Just yeah. what, what, well, did, what did the album do for you? Yeah, that, uh, it, like, it helped me a lot in the sense of building my network this time in Joji as well and uh, pick up to you guys for giving me the opportunity as well I know, for sure. to uh, express myself, you know. Um, I've always, like I said, we've been back and forth, sending music, trying to get, you know, trying to make something yeah. happen. Um, but yeah, was, uh, with the first album, it was, um, you know, just trying to get something out where I think I could collab with people in Joji and some in Cape Town, you know, and kind of make something where I can say that more multiverse in terms of uh, music and the way we express our culture, you know, in the country and South Africa on its own. Okay, cool. And then now with us moving to the second album, I mean, you've almost doubled what you did in the first one. <laughs> We've got 16 artists, um, so 16 collaborations, yeah. 16 tracks on the album. I think, tell us a little bit more about just the journey of sort of collaborating with all these artists. Yeah. I mean, I know it took a long time. Yeah. You worked with a lot of people, but yeah. just uh, some of the highlights, just tell us a bit yeah, about so, uh, For the last time that I came to Georgia, when we spoke for the first event that we had, um, I know we spoke about it just briefly, um, but it was already in the works from then already because the first album I did was in COVID. So it gave me kind of um, leeway to you know, hold up my catalog and uh, give me the time to actually create more tracks and stuff. Mm. Um, but with the Unity album, that's releasing on the 17th of March. Um, that was more in a perspective of you know collaborating with other artists in the sense where we can show our versatility as artists and also just to help myself in the sense where I can show like um, get myself out of my I kind of say like my safeguard or my environment I'm used to doing. Um, so with obviously collaborating with other artists and stuff like that. Um, you know, it gave me a chance to also get out of my routine creativity where I'm mm. producing the same all the time. So with that, it's just like a broadened my, um, my spectrum with the music, also learning from other people from all mm. walks of life, you know, like each person has their own way of expressing their creativity. Mm -hmm. So um, it was a good, uh, really a shout out to all the artists that collaborated with me mm -hmm. on this album. You shout out guys, I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, this one is more about, you know, not just about myself, but as the scene itself and like what we as artists can do together. Just more, that's what the name Unity actually stands for, just togetherness, you know, creating something that we can all benefit from as well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then I think just to sort of finalize things off, um, for the tech geeks out there, the producers, the guys who are making their own music, just yeah. tell us a little bit about sort of your process, your setup, like how you make music. Are you one of those guys who live out the laptop? Do you have yeah. a more fixed setup? Like okay, yeah, so I've got a, a desktop computer, mm -hmm. um, just with an Ableton push, and then I've got a 49 key um, 
keyboard. And then just like a small setup that I have in my room, literally in my bedroom at home where like, you know, my little own space. And um, just when I feel like I need to let emotion out or whatever the case is, you know, I get into my little zone and then just express myself through the music. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So we're going to head over now for Bones' exclusive guest sets. I really can't wait to see what he plays for us. And um, this is your second time now living room, yeah, right? second time, second time, yeah. Yeah, I can't think of a better way just to sort of express the house music. So we're going to see him on the dance floor and thank you guys for tuning in.
Thank you. 
speak, I want the truth to come out. You know what I'm saying? Every time I speak, I want to shiver. You know, I don't want them to be like, they know what I'm going to say because it's polite. They know what I'm going to say. And even if I get in trouble, you know what I'm saying? That ain't that what we're supposed to do. It's, I'm not saying I'm going to open the world or I'm going to change the world. But I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world. And that's our job, is to spark somebody else's body. Thank you. 
And that is unfortunately all we have time for this month. But don't worry, join us again next month for Round Robin Radio episode 11. We will be having another special guest. But guys, I really want to ask you a big favor. If you've made it this far, please hit subscribe on the YouTube channel. As a label, we are busy with some really big things and a very big push, but it is all dependent on us growing this channel. So please guys, if you like the label, if you want to support us and house music, if you're into the vibe, hit subscribe. I didn't plan that, I swear. <laughs> I guess I had the accident, but I didn't mean for that to rhyme. But there it is. Guys, please join us, subscribe, and we'll see you next month. Until then, keep well. Cheers, guys. <laughs>